We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. Hey guys, welcome to Faiz Arifin cooking show. <laughs> well, something different. So in today's video, what's going to happen, I'm going to show you guys on how to cook your eggs and what kind of preparation can you do given that right now probably it might be a challenge for you guys to cook you might be lazy so what is the best healthy meal that is good have sufficient amount of protein that can help with recovery and also help you to improve the body composition so that you can stay in shape have tight torso and most importantly get that chisel abs first off i want to share with you some guidelines uh, what do you need so that you can start to prepare for yourself so what I would like to share with you guys over here um, is a few of the ingredients that we can easily have on the go. The bread is very hard to get, to obtain, because right now apparently people are selling it for 600 ringgit. <laughs> I know it's a joke, but this is a source of carbohydrates that you can have low glycemic index and the amount of carbohydrate is not high. So you can have this as a meal replacement. So if you put this with a can of tuna, it can be like a meal. So let me show you the can of tuna look over here so we have two nine water so what you do you snap it out and if you look at the ingredient it's roughly about 24 gram per serving so you can put this bread pop it out like a sandwich and you're good to go so bread is good and we, get, we can also have it with the eggs which we're gonna cook shortly um, you have banana banana is good in potassium uh, banana is good to have pick up energy and it also help with your digestive tract so if you're gonna go for a workout later in the evening banana will be a good option so this is also one of my favorite and this is another option um, this is honey salad there's a lot of salad out there that is raw salad where you can just pop it up put it in the bowl and just have it like that on the go get a bag of salad or any kind of vegetables that you prefer this is easy because you don't have to cook you don't have to boil you can just have it on the go so raw salad Keep that in mind i'm lazy as well so we do whatever necessary for us to make it work over here we have a stack of eggs um, i had two eggs earlier this morning to so be having two more for today's session but before that you're going to heat up the frying pan um, make sure you you have a frying pan if you don't So we heat up the frying pan, make sure we have this, all right, and what we do, we're going to put a bit of olive oil, and we can use normal oil, but ideally you need to keep in mind, because if you put it this way, you know how to calculate your macronutrient, protein, carbohydrates and fats, you need to keep in mind that one gram of protein is four calories, one gram of carbohydrate is four calories, one gram of fats is nine calories, so if you have this in mind, one teaspoon of olive oil is roughly about seven gram of fats so we don't want to put too much because eggs itself have quite a number of fats so we're going to put that on the frying pan um, let it mix up a bit so ideally we try to get it um, smoothened up the whole pan this is what we're going to do it's a bit more creative this is what i like to do and then once you get sort of an idea of Fully mix up, we're gonna put on a frying pan, let it heat up a bit for a couple of seconds, and then we have the eggs over here. We're gonna do we're gonna crack the eggs, depends on how you do it. I'm not that of an expert, but the idea here is to not let the the pieces of the crack stick inside that. So very important to make sure that the eggs is inside this bowl. Nothing else, right? So once you get that done, wash your hand. Alright, make sure your hand is dry. And what we're gonna do next, we're gonna mix a bit of pepper, give a bit of taste, and then we can put a bit of salt. So a lot of people think that salt is bad, but for me, salt is fine. Salt gives you a bit of taste. And now we got this mixed up. So we're gonna do scrambled eggs. Mm. 
using fork would be a better option because spoon doesn't dissolve well. So if you look at the fork you have in between here, so you you mix it up like a scrambled eggs. So you do like this. See a lot of chef doing like that. So make sure that the texture is even. So you go up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. So now it's mixed up. And what we can do once it's ready, we can see first if it's heat up properly. Maybe you can give a bit more, a few more seconds. Uh, we can just still adjust accordingly. And what we can do, we can put the egg once it's heated up. So let it sit still first for a little bit. I'm gonna get the this one. I think this one will be good for us to use to make sure that the egg doesn't stick on that. Um, ideally, we don't want to have it too long on the frying pan because the egg cooks very fast. So I don't want you to put the egg inside there and then leave it there, go have a shower. Just make sure that you keep an eye on the egg because if it's too long, then the egg might be overcooked. So we're almost there. We're almost there. I think we are good. We can pour the egg inside here slowly. And this egg, it's one, there's only two eggs inside here. So if you look at it, one egg is about five gram of fat. So two eggs is about 10 gram of fat, plus the teaspoon of olive oil, that is roughly about seven grams. So we're looking at about 17 gram of fat, and protein is about 12 gram because one egg consists about six gram of protein. So 12 gram of protein and 17 gram of fat. So if you add up with a bit more um, other sorts of carbohydrates, like the bread, or we can have a bit of uh, vegetables that will be a solid complete meal that is not too heavy on the stomach that's all right so we're gonna let it fry a bit and then we're gonna scramble it and we're gonna do scramble it so it doesn't have to be in any order just make sure that it's cooked i mean if you like it like really well cooked and it's okay like for me i like it to make it a bit like uh, watery a bit because if it's too cooked, then I feel like it's too hard. But you're almost there. It's cute little eggs. And we are almost there. So try to move move around because if it sticks too long to one spot, then the cook the egg might be overcooked and it get hardened. If you get the non-stick non frying pan, it's even better for the egg. So at least the egg can Okay, I think the eggs is sexy, so we're good. So that's about it. Very fast, very light. And so what we're gonna do? So this this spoon was used to cook the egg just now. So what we can do? Use new this spoon. Voila! And you got it. And that's our egg. What we can do? Put it to the side. that is off and there you have it we have egg and what we can do we can have a bit of the salad All right so we have this um, I know that some of you guys might feel that oh the salad tastes ah, it doesn't taste nice so some of you guys might hear that taste but I would encourage you to use some kind of um, sauce to help you guys to digest the food even easier. Like for me, I'm so used to eating the vegetables, so not a problem. But if you have the challenge of eating vegetables, um, I would highly encourage um, to use some kind of fat-free products. Like over here, we have mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is actually high in fat. So when you have mayonnaise, um, chances are you're going to overshoot on the fat. Because right now, if you look at this, the eggs itself is already 17 grams of fat but it's a good kind of fat. But if you have too much fat, it's very hard for us to get on a linear shape. Does that make sense? So get the fat free. Um, over here we have uh, this brand. Praise uh, brand is mayonnaise. And if you look over here, 99 fat free um, sauce. So every time you go buy an ingredient, you look at the label, try to read. I know it might be hard at first, but once you get the hang of it, you actually can sort of be like a strategist. To know that what kind of food should you buy, should you not, but it takes a bit of effort. So get the hang of it, um, read through the labels, get the fat free or low fat content, 
um, and that will do the job well. So I'm gonna put a bit. Oh, whoa, it's a bit of fast reaction. All right, so we have that. We can make that, and what we can do, we can actually have a slice or two of bread. Because if you look at here, if you read the label, um, so it contains wheat germ. Uh, so wheat germ have a lot of benefit, cholesterol free, have a bit of protein, have a bit of calcium, iron, vitamin B1, B2 for energy production. So read the label. Um, if you're not used to reading the label, there will be a good time. And if you look at here, uh, one slice of bread is roughly about 15 grams. So if you have just one slice, that's 15 grams. So this can be a meal. If you have another one slice, that's 30 grams. And this can be like a snack. And if you feel hungry, because some of you guys might think, oh, this is not a meal. But then again, you need to understand as well, sometimes it's not that we're really hungry. We have lack of water. So keep yourself hydrated. Make sure you drink water, um, at least a little of two. So make sure you have a water bottle. Um, keep yourself labeled, because sometimes we forget how, much, how many liters we drink. So benchmark, um, two to three liters at least would be a good sweet spot. If you are always outdoor or in aircon condition temperature, usually when you in cold temperature, you tend to be dehydrated more easier. So make sure you drink more water. If you feel hungry, drink water. Sometimes that might just be an indication that dehydration. Again, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you get a bit of value out of here. If you find this video beneficial, share with people out there. Hope this helped. And again, stay strong, stay positive, stay fit. And most importantly, uh, keep up the gains. Take care guys. Talk to you soon. Oh, and by the way, last shot. Ooh, look at how beautiful this is. Voila, Chef Faiz, the chef. <laughs>